severe volcanic eruptions, evidence of life, evolution of prokaryotic organisms, and the age of the dinosaurs. Have you ever wondered how the Earth transformed over the course of 4.6 billion years? Hello, SciPals! I am Sir Wilson Ramos, your science teacher for today. In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, we are going to travel back in time and revisit the Earth's history through the geologic time scale. We will identify the significant events that happened in the four eons of the geologic time scale. Furthermore, we will describe the significant features of the different eras within the eon that we are currently in. Finally, we are going to ponder on the importance of the geologic time scale in order to understand how the Earth has changed over time. In the next few minutes, we will explore science for another AH moment. Remember that through rock and fossil records, scientists inferred the geologic history of the Earth. Through this, they were able to develop the geologic time scale. The geologic time scale is a record of life forms and geological events and the Earth's history based on rock records. The geologic time is subdivided into hierarchical intervals. The largest sections are called eons. Eons are divided into eras. Eras are divided into periods. Periods are divided into epochs. And epochs are divided into ages. The subdivision of the geologic time is based on the significant events and the Earth's history. Let us travel back in time and visit the first eon in the geologic time scale. The first eon in the geologic time scale is called the Hadean Eon. This marks the Earth's formation by the accretion from the solar nebula that happened 4.6 billion years ago. The Hadean Eon is characterized by bombardment of meteorites and severe volcanic eruptions, causing the release of enormous amounts of heat that likely prevented much of the rock from solidifying at the surface. As such, the name of the eon is a reference to Hades, a Greek translation of a Hebrew word for hell. Because of these conditions, life was non-existent in this eon. Following the Hadean eon is the Archean eon, which occurred 3.8 to 2.5 billion years ago. Earth cooled down significantly in this eon. An atmosphere formed which lacked oxygen and an ozone layer, but likely contained methane, ammonia, and other gases which would be toxic to most life on our planet today. The name Archean is derived from the Greek word meaning beginning or origin, as this eon showed the first evidence of life through the evolution of primordial life of stromatolites, which are microorganisms called the cyanobacteria or the blue-green alga, and archaea, bacteria that can survive in extreme conditions. The next eon is called the Proterozoic Eon, from the Greek word meaning earlier life, which started 2.5 billion years ago and ended 543 million years ago. In this eon, stable land masses first appeared, while oxygen buildup in the atmosphere allowed the evolution of prokaryotic bacteria in the four eukaryotic kingdoms of plants, animals, fungi, and protists. 
At the end of the Proterozoic Eon, fossil evidence of first soft-bodied animals was discovered. The current eon of the geologic timescale that we're living in is called the Phanerozoic Eon, also known as the Eon of Visible Life, as life forms in this eon started to greatly flourish and diversify. This eon has begun 540 million years ago, up to the present day. To better understand the events that occurred in the Phanerozoic Eon, let us study it through the different eras, namely the Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and the Cenozoic Eras. The first era of the Phanerozoic Eon is called the Paleozoic Era, meaning ancient life, which began 570 million years ago and ended 250 million years ago. This era began with an event called the Cambrian Explosion, which is a relatively rapid period of speciation that kicked off a long period of life flourishing on Earth. The Cambrian Explosion is such an important point in the Earth's history that all the previous eons before it, namely the Hadean, Archean, and the Proterozoic eons are collectively referred to as the Precambrian time. The diversification of life forms first happened in the world's oceans. But later on, vast amounts of life forms from the oceans moved onto the land. Plants were the first one to make the move, followed by the invertebrates. Not long afterward, vertebrates. Many new species appeared and thrived. The end of the Paleozoic era came with the largest mass extinction in the history of life on Earth, called the Great Dying, wiping out 95% of marine life and nearly 70% of life on land. Climate changes most likely caused this phenomenon as the continents all drifted together to form Pangaea. As devastating this mass extinction was, it paved the way for the new species to arise and new era to begin. After the mass extinction caused so many species to vanish, a wide variety of new species evolved and thrived during the Mesozoic era, which means middle life. This era lasted from 250 million years ago to 65 million years ago. It is also known as the age of dinosaurs, since dinosaurs were the most dominant species of the time. The climate during the Mesozoic era was very humid and tropical, and many lush green plants sprouted all over the earth. Dinosaurs started off small and grew larger as the Mesozoic era went on. Herbivores thrived, small mammals came into existence, and birds evolved from the dinosaurs. Another mass extinction marked the end of the Mesozoic era called the cretaceous Paleogene extinction or the KPG extinction, which might have been triggered by a giant meteor or comet impact. Volcanic activity, more gradual climate change, or various combination of these factors. All the dinosaurs and many other animals, especially herbivores, died leaving niches to be filled by new species in the coming era. The final era of the geologic time scale is called the Cenozoic Era, which has occurred 65 million years ago up to this present day. With large dinosaurs already extinct, smaller mammals that survived were able to grow and become dominant. The climate changed drastically over a relatively short period of time, becoming much cooler and drier than during the Mesozoic era. Ice covered the most temperate parts of the Earth with glaciers, causing life to adapt relatively rapidly and the rate of evolution to increase. All life species, including humans, have evolved into their present-day forms over the course of this era, which has not ended yet and most likely would not 
unless another mass extinction occurs. The geologic timescale is a very important tool for us to portray the history of the Earth. Without the geologic timescale, we would be clueless on how the Earth started and the events that led to the Earth that we live in right now. Ah. In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, we describe the history of the Earth through the geologic timescale. We learned that the geologic time is subdivided into hierarchical intervals. The largest sections are called eons. Eons are divided into eras. Eras are divided into periods. Periods are divided into epochs. And epochs are divided into ages. The first eon in the geologic time scale is called the Hadean Eon. This marks the Earth's formation that happened 4.6 billion years ago. The Hadean Eon is characterized by bombardment of meteorites and severe volcanic eruptions. And because of this, life was non-existent in this eon. Following the Hadean Eon is the Archean Eon, which occurred 3.8 to 2.5 billion years ago. This eon showed the first evidence of life through the evolution of primordial life of stromatolites. The third eon is called the Proterozoic Eon, which started 2.5 billion years ago and ended 543 million years ago. In this eon, stable land masses first appeared, and the evolution of prokaryotic organisms occurred, as well as the discovery of fossil evidence of first soft-bodied animals. The last of the four eons of the geologic time scale is called the Phanerozoic Eon, also known as the Eon of Visible Life. This eon began 540 million years ago and is still continuing today. The Phanerozoic Eon is divided into Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic eras. The first era of the Phanerozoic Eon is called the Paleozoic Era, which began 570 million years ago and ended 250 million years ago. This era began with the event called the Cambrian Explosion. The diversification of life forms first happened in the world's oceans, but later on, vast amounts of life forms from the oceans moved onto the land. The end of the Paleozoic Era came with the largest mass extinction and the history of life on Earth, called the Great Dying, wiping out 95% of marine life and nearly 70% of life on land. The Mesozoic Era followed the mass extinction. This era lasted from 250 million years ago to 65 million years ago and is also known as the age of the dinosaurs, since dinosaurs were the most dominant species of the time. Another mass extinction marked the end of the Mesozoic era, called the Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction, or KPG Extinction. All the dinosaurs and many other animals, especially herbivores, died off, leaving niches to be filled by new species in the coming era. The final era on the geologic time scale is the Cenozoic Era, which occurred from 65 million years ago to this present day. All species of life, including humans, have evolved into their present day forms over the course of this era, which hasn't ended yet and most likely won't unless another mass extinction occurs. And lastly, we were able to realize the importance of the geologic time scale to understand the changes that have happened to the Earth through the course of 4.6 billion years. Ah. That's all for today, SciPals. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. See you again next week for another Ah Moment. 
only here in Agham Alam Hub, Palajan's SciTech Quarter. Bye!